I am here with Leia Falcon, and I'm very excited to have her here because I heard about her from one of my favorite and first podcast interviews. I think it's like episode four or something like that, where Mike Quasar tells an amazing story about her. And ever since then, I was like, I got to have this girl on my show at some point. So before we dive into that, Leah, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm good. How's the show been for you? It's been fun. Yeah? It's, it's a little different. Like, every year it's a little different. Yeah. Like, as you know, like, you see 10% of the people that you've seen last year, and 90% are new faces. Yeah. So it's just like, damn. I know. It's crazy, right? Like, people scared of us. Stop, stop running away, motherfuckers. Well, that, <laughs> or it's just, like, more and more people coming into the industry. It's just, that like, too. it's crazy. Especially, you know? like, with the OnlyFans and, and the, the camming. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot more. Yeah. So, uh, I just want to touch on the story that uh, <laughs> Mike told us, and I would like you to elaborate on it. Okay. But he told us that one of the craziest things that he ever witnessed on set was when he shot you in, an, I think, an interracial gangbang, and yes. you brought a slave to set. Yes. And then after the gangbang, <laughs> and when you were covered in various men's cum and sweat, you had him lick you clean. Well, first of all, the slave was is an it, not a him. Okay. That is my former slave. This was a few years ago. Okay. But yes, I had this slave that I was in, like, a long-term dom-sub type relationship with. Right. And... I actually had, this slave had bought me a house, bought me fucking everything. So I was like, well, okay, I think you've earned to lick real men's cum off of me. So I was like, all right, at the end, I was like, come here, slave, like I have a treat for you. Because usually I don't want my cucks anywhere near me, like... But it was, like, all on me and on my asshole. I was like, you can lick my asshole now. Like, you're welcome. Wow. And it actually, I had property of Princess Leia tattooed on its ass. Wow. So I had to get rid of it, though, like, that slave. But it probably still has the tattoo, which is hilarious to me. Oh, my God. Okay, so can you explain the dynamic between you guys just a little bit more? So you said normally you don't want him anywhere near you. So... Do you normally not engage in any sexual activity with him? Like, what What do you, as a slave, like, what does he normally do? As a slave, to me, like, they're totally different. There's sexual slaves. There's, like, cuckold slaves. There's sexual cuckold slaves. But personally, mine, my cuckolds are not allowed to touch me unless if I give them permission. Even are they then. they buy you a house? Yes. <laughs> then, but even then. then maybe. Yeah. They cannot put their little dicks anywhere near me. Uh-huh. Because you know they all got little dicks, a couple. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I don't want their mouths on me, none of that. Like, it, they're lucky if they get to lick the fucking dirt off the bottom of my feet. Wow. Like, they can't, no sex whatsoever, and I will bust their balls, literally and figuratively. I will drain their wallets and their lives and it's amazing wow and the fact that these people exist and they also enjoy doing what i enjoy yeah like be on the receiving end of me doing what i enjoy it's just what a beautiful world we live in right all these kinks and fetishes it's amazing so how often so these people like don't live with you right like do they come see you a couple of times a week and you have them like clean your bathroom like or do they just watch you have sex with other men? Like, how does that... I'm just so curious about how that works. It depends on the cuck. That particular slave, like I said, it moved out here from Washington, D.C., bought me a house, So, and it was three stories. So I had it live on the third floor. Okay. The first two floors, I was like off limits, unless if I'm like, okay, you can come down here now. Mm-hmm. But most slaves don't reach that... I guess that level because they aren't that committed. I mean, there are some out there, but I haven't met another one yet. So usually- So this one was special. Yeah. Like uh, just like with dating normally, like if you find a cuck, it's going to be something like, you're not going to find it on the corner every day. Right, right. Uh, So usually now my cucks, I'll sometimes I'll book sessions and 
I'll see them, they'll come travel to me, or they'll have me travel to them, or they'll just be online, be like, oh, I want to do a Skype session, because they're too afraid I might hurt them in real life. I'm like, <laughs> I'm all about consent, though, so... Yeah. As long as they're consenting to it, I'm not going to go past their limit. Yeah. So I'm glad that you touched on that because I think the average person who's not too familiar with the kink community would hear this and like be horrified that you were like abusing or taking advantage of these people. But these people are people who like specifically want this and ask for this. And, you know, the sub is always in control in some way because they set their boundaries. So do you guys have this discussion beforehand? Can you go a little bit more into that? Usually, like, when my subs hit me up or any sub hits me up, I'm like, okay, well, I need you to write a 500-word essay at the very least. <laughs> like, first they have to tribute, and then they have to send me this essay. And I'm like, what are your kinks? What are your fantasies? What are your expectations? What do you want out of me? What, what benefit are you going to have to my life if I allow you into my life? And... If I don't like the essay, I'm going to be like, denied. Yeah. But if I like it, I'll be like, all right, let's get to know each other. Again, it's kind of like normal dating, only no sex, none of that. But you get to know them, and they cater to you as the dom or princess. I'm always like, oh, princess. Yeah. And you just learn each slave is different. Yeah. So one slave might be like, Oh, princess, I want to I want to fucking lick your fucking asshole clean after you take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> and the next one will be like, "Oh, I don't I don't do any of that." Yeah. Like, just I just want to stare at you and tell you how beautiful you are and have you tell me how disgusting and little my dick is. Mm-hmm. So, it just it depends like all different kinds, but they usually find me and like I said, there's a screening process. I like the whole like 500 word essay because it's kind of a way that you're getting the information that you need out of them so you know like what their boundaries are. But it's also doing it in a dominating kind of way, you know, like do your homework and submit to me, tell me your boundaries, and then I'll decide if those are boundaries that work for me. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, so many girls, like, I guess there was a YouTube video that about Findom and stuff mm-hmm. that came out lately, and they are like, oh, you don't want to be a sugar baby, you want to be a Findom, and they compared that to being a sugar baby, which is nothing like that, because Findom, cuckolding, no, you're not having sex with them. Mm-hmm. So, like... There's so much more to it than just be like, oh, give me your money. Yeah. And when I look for someone to serve me, I'm like, okay, are you willing to give me all of you finances, physical, mental, spiritual, all of that? Like, I want to see what you're going to do to benefit me. Anyone can hand you cash. Yeah. But not everyone can serve you just, like, wholeheartedly. Right. And I just want the genuine ones because... They're not genuine. Why waste my time? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, so many people hear about this whole financial domination situation and just being a dominatrix. And they think, like, oh, I love that idea. I want to, like, boss people around and tell them to give me money and they're just going to give me money. And I'm like, it's not that easy. Because, first of all, like you said, finding the people that that really want to live that lifestyle and do that um, requires you as a dom to have the skills to make them want to give that to you, you know? Like, you have to play that role in a way that makes them want to give you all their money and all their time and all of that, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, there is an art to it. Yeah. Not everyone can do it. No. People are like, oh, it's so easy. Like, no, there's... It's either you have it or you don't, and if you have it, you learn to perfect that as time goes on. Like, I, like, this is going to sound kind of asshole, but I wasn't always, like, so, I guess, advanced in what I do. Right. Like, I had to learn, but I always knew I had it in me. Yeah. Uh, Just like anything, like, you could be like, oh, to build a muscle, you need to keep working at it, keep working at it. You're not just going to wake up one day and be like... I'm deciding I'm going to be a Findom or a cuckoldress or a dominatrix. No, either you have it or you don't. And 
if you keep working at it, you're going to be amazing. If you don't work at it and you just expect people to just like throw money or whatever at you, no, that's not how it works. It's literally a commitment and an agreement like on behalf of the slave is committing to you and you're kind of committing to the slave telling them, okay, well, I am going to be that dom that you say that you want. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, hey, give me your money. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, like you also serve them in some way. There is, like, like you you're look serving at it like their that, yes. needs, but not not as a servant, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Like, there yes. are things that they are definitely getting from you. Some Absolutely. kind of needs that they need fulfilled. Absolutely. And it's usually guys that are in power because I've heard that. the whole, their whole life, everything is so controlled and they have to have all this control. So when they're behind closed doors or when they're at home, whatever, they just want to be like, okay, tell me what to do yeah. so I can let loose and just let my mind be clear and free. And they just enjoy making a woman happy. Yeah. And that's what they should yeah. be doing. Anyways. I, <laughs> it's so true. But yeah, that's, that's definitely true. For me, I'm more submissive in bed. And it's definitely like a flip for me because, you know, I run my own business. I have people work for me. I'm always making decisions. I'm always in charge. So, like, I really like to have the opposite side. So I can relate to that. Yeah. Like, as much as a dom as I am, when it comes to my real relationship, I'm just like, I want to be submissive in bed. However, I also want to be completely in control. Yeah. So I've been told I talk from the bottom. Interesting. So it's <laughs> like I want want to let go of that control, but under my rules. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's weird. Yeah. No, I, I get it. It makes sense. You're a complex sexual being. I would say that's a very fair statement. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on. Um, I'd love to have you come on my show and talk about this stuff more. This kind of stuff fascinates me and I know fascinates my audience. And you're somebody who's obviously got a lot of experience in this and is very well versed in this area. So um, let's try to like make that happen and, and really talk Definitely. more extensively about it. But in the meantime, can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media? You can find me at the little at sign. Mm -hmm. Leia, L-E-Y-A, F-A-L-C-O-N. Leia Falcon, at Leia Falcon. Not Layla. Leia. Just, yes, there's just one L at the beginning. Um, is that the same on Twitter and Instagram? Or? Twitter and Instagram, yes. Fantastic. All right, Leia, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was an honor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.